Welcome to Dream On Kennels, and in today's episode, we are back to clipping the dew claws and docking the tails. Uh, before we get started, just want to let you guys know that we had a puppy pass away. The little one that you saw in previous episode that we were bottle feeding, Miss Angel, she ended up passing away actually the day after we created the last video. Now we're down uh, to 10 puppies from 11. These 10 puppies that we have, we're getting ready to get them hooked up with these dew claws and these docking other tails. Stay tuned. When you're docking tails, make sure that your area is clean and your hands are sanitized. So today is day three. These puppies were born on February 1st, and on day three, they say that's about the best time I do to do claws and the uh, tails. That it's time to put in some work. The look we go with for our boxers on the tails is a quarter of an inch. If there's a coin that you want to use, you know, you can use a penny, and the diameter of a penny is a uh, 0.75, so that's what we use. Uh, we go back just a little bit higher, you know, to give ourselves room for error, uh, particularly for if the tails don't fall off around the same time uh, that the other ones do. Um, you know, we give ourselves that day or two grace period to where the tail is still going. Uh, look that we're going for. Release it. And it seems like it hurts. And it probably does a little bit, but by the time he gets in the kennel with Dream again, he'll be just fine. She'll clean him up and lift him up. When it comes to the dew claws, you want to make sure you get all of it. Because if you don't, there's a chance that that dew claw will continue to grow. And then you probably have to surgically remove it. Um, it won't grow as fast as the other nails, but it will, you know, be something that could probably cause injuries later on. Um, and if it's barely growing, it makes it a little bit hard to be able to uh, clip it just like the other nails. So, um, you know, there may be a little bit of blood when you're doing a dew cloth, but I'd rather be bleeding a little bit um, and make sure we get all of that nail out of there uh, rather than, you know, being a little bit cautious and taking a chance of that nail not getting out of there and then you have to deal with it later on. You see a little bit of blood, but that's just part of the process. You know, the dogs aren't hurting anymore than what they would if there was less blood. And you can see now he's back in the kennel with Dream and there's no squealing, hollering, anything. So after all this is done, you know, they, they're just fine. Yeah.
No sleep when things run dry I'm empty I can't see I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering How far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not knowing how to move on without you I got everything I need but not what I wanted Cause I just wanted you And if I could I'd leave the city too I don't blame you And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not known How to move on Without you Follow up on the do clause and the tales from last night. Uh, we got that completed about 9:30, and it is about 10 o'clock a.m. the following day. And so we're just gonna check for infections or if anything is not scabbing up, or if, if any of the wounds are looking like something's wrong with them, we'll make sure we get that taken care of. So just doing a little checkup to make sure everything's good before we get the rest of this day going. So just looking, yesterday we took this little uh, digit, took that off. And you have to make sure you get deep enough because if you don't get deep enough, then that nail will actually keep growing, that claw actually keep, keep growing. And it won't look like these, it'll be a little stub. It's so low to the skin that it's hard to get nail cutters on it to cut it. And the nails, they do have blood vessels. So if you cut too short, in one of the nails, you can make them bleed. And so it's the same thing with the dew claw. So just checking to make sure I got all of the nail out, all of that claw out, and to make sure the healing process has started, starting to scab up and everything. And it's unbelievable how fast dogs heal. You, uh, you think about healing for the older dogs, but these puppies heal pretty fast as well. We need that right little dude. Yeah, we need that right little dude. Yeah, we need that right little dude. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna have to clip your other nails. This bad boy's long. Everything looks good, you know, you don't have to take a long time with it. Just want to make sure we put a little bit of alcohol on there to make sure we're keeping it clean. And then they get to go back to mama. This tail is already becoming discolored, so it won't be on here very much longer. What is today, Sunday? We'll probably come in Tuesday and this thing will be gone. So that's how quick it happens, especially when you do it right. Just like anything else, I try to get better as I go. Looks like we're doing better. But what you can expect from the mom is pretty much, you know, what all moms do, there'll be a certain level of concern. She has 10 puppies, but at that time, she's not concerned about the nine that's in the, in the pen with her. She's concerned about the one that's getting the dew claws done or the tail done. Just anytime you really take one out and she hears them, uh, you don't even have to be doing anything. If they're just whining, you know, you could be sitting on the couch and, and the puppy starts whining. And it's going to have a certain level of concern with Dream. You know, she never becomes aggressive. She's always attentive, you know, never aggressive. 
just worried, just like any good parent would be. Once you put the puppy back in the pen with her, she goes to her motherly duties of making sure they're clean and making sure they're comfortable and really just being that caretaker. So, I mean, for us, this is litter three and we've had, what, 10, 20, 31 puppies. It's nothing new for us. We kind of know what to expect, but for those of you that may be going through this uh, for the first time, you know, you could just look for your mom to be a, a very concerned parent at the time. Uh, so if any of you want to see how Dream reacted with Little One or Little Two, just click right here and you'll be able to check that out.